Okay, we're back again, and now we're going to play with Sumeru Teaser Team Tech. This deck featuring Candice, Armatindro, and Sino. Before we get into the deck, I want to talk a little bit about this new character card, namely Armatindro, or her in game name is Armite Floral Ring Dancer. So, in short, this Armatindro has a lot in common with Pebble because they are on the same faction anyway the main difference is in the buff provided by their elemental skills and the effect on their technique Armatindro grants a plus one usage and plus one damage buff to technique after launching her elemental skills this buff has no stack limit but you only get this buff from her elemental skill. From here, we already can see that to get that technique buff is clearly harder than Papel because Papel only needs receiving damage and that's easier than having to use elemental skills only. In addition, Papel can get other stacks by using her talent. What makes this Armad Dendro superior is the amount of usage of the technique. The base is to usage, but this can increase according how many buff you collect through her elemental skill. Then also that the test needed to use her technique are cheaper than Pebble has. She also has a passive put exactly the same as Pebble 1, which is when her HP is 7 or below, then receiving damage, she will get energy for herself. For the talent itself, after there is a character equipped with the technique of Armatin Rue, and we switch to that character we immediately deal one tendro damage to opponent now let's discuss the deck strategy initially our goal is to ramp up in the first round similar to playing hyper magic you can start with any character but my approach varies if it is likely that Armatenru will drop to 7 HP, I'll start with her. Otherwise, Candice is my go to. Candice's function here is somewhat similar to Herald, which is to taking more turns so that opponent will spend all of them dice before us so what why not just use herald instead well it is a sumeru resonance purpose and probably very rarely people use her nowadays why not tehya then there's demic mitigation right well, it is possible, but it will interrupt Aramite Tin Root toward 7 HP, which we must know that almost all character elemental skills have 3 points of damage, and if Aramite Tin Root receives it, then she can get 1 energy directly. Of course, we want this to happen for efficiency okay the point is that round one we have to ramp that's the main thing then in the next round of course we want to burst with armatin rule after popping this out you can ram or deal some damage with Sino while building up his tech the game should be over in round 3 at the earliest. For more space when ending the game, you can use Candice to extend the turn of your opponent 
or you can do a slow swap between Candice and Hermitendro before going to Sino. The rest is just magic shenanigan and for the use of skill of Sino, he now has two elements which mean if the opponent has electro aura then we can switch Sino to use technique instead and well this opens up many options for Sino next action the rest is just a matter of sweeping the enemy and achieve victory well that's about it for the tech strategy now let's jump straight into the game and enjoy watching for a dance.
you in danger? You stay condemned! Care for a dance? What's wrong? Are you in danger?
Care for a dance? Guilty! Just begun. Let's begin. 